Hi, my name is Valentina and I live in Zanzibar. What's up my good people, this is Elvis Derry and uh, we're celebrating in Tanzania, Zanzibar, in uh, Jambiani area. Currently we are at Mfumbui, at Echo Farm and this place is amazing man. Karibu tena hii ni Dira Dunia kutoka idha Kiswahili ya BBC jina langu ni Hamida Abubakar. Tuelekee kisimani Zanzibar ambapo mara nyingi watu huziba pua zao kwa harufu mbaya kutoka kwa kinyesi inaonekana kama uchafu ama kitu kisichofaa. Lakini uchafu huu una matumizi makubwa. Valentina Giacometti, raia wa Italia anaishi Zanzibar, ameamua kubadilisha hali kwa kutumia kinyesi kutengeneza aina ya mbolea inayotumiwa katika shamba. Mwandishi wa BBC Alfred Laste amemtembelea na kutuandalia taarifa ifuatayo. Shanza, shanza kwa mbolea. Valentina Giacometti ni mama wa watoto watano, raia wa Italia. Amekuwa akiishi Zanzibar kwa zaidi ya mwongo mmoja sasa. Alikuta eneo hili alina rotuba na sehemu kubwa ikiwa na mawe lakini ili kuvutia wengi ilimbidi apabadili. Tumebatika kununua hiyo sehemu lakini ilikuwa tuseme mazingira ya mawe matupu na dream yangu ilikuwa kuwa na um, sehemu ya kupandisha miti. Kwa hiyo nime, nimeanza kufikiria vipi tufanye kwa ku kwa sababu siwezi ku, kuuza hiyo kiwanja niende niishe sehemu nyingine lazima nibadilishe mazingira ya hiyo sehemu. Kwa hiyo nimeanza ku, kuenda ku, ku, kujifunza mwenyewe kwenye mtandao, kuuliza, kwenda kuangalia sehemu nyingine, nimepata idea tofauti ya kujenga compost toilet. Mafanikio yake yalichagizwa na mambo mengi ikiwemo ubunifu sambamba na ujasiri. Kwa hiyo mimi nilikuwa nataka nionyeshe watu kama inawezekana pia kujenga sehemu ambayo unaweza kutumia nini culture ya hapa, yani material kama makuti, mbao, e, unaweza pia kula za wageni na wageni wanaweza kufurai. Hapa kwanza tuna kisima yetu. Kwa hiyo hatutumii maji ya serikali, tuna kisima tuna tuna pampu tuna tuna pipa tuna tunatumia maji ya kisima alafu sehemu yote ina randa na umeme ya jua kwa hiyo hatutumii umeme ya kawaida tuna umeme ya jua tuna system ya composting na recycling ya water mara nyingi kinyesi cha binadamu utumika kama kawi ya kupikia lakini wengi ushindwa kuitumia kama mbolea kwa kuhofia masuala ya kiafya hiki cho kina matundu matatu Tundu la kwanza lina hifadhi kinyesi, tundu la pili lina hifadhi mkojo na tundu la tatu lina akiba la kuhifadhi kinyesi. Na hapa juu kuna maranda. Maranda haya hutumika punde tu baada ya mtu kutumia choo na kuweza kutoa kinyesi chake. Na maranda haya yanapojichanganya na kinyesi na kusindikwa kwa zaidi ya miezi mitatu e, utengeneza mbolea na mbolea hiyo huweza kutumika kwenye mashamba au kwenye bustani na haya na athari yoyote kwa binadamu. Elimu ndio msingi wa mabadiliko. Sikutamani hata kuacha kazi lakini nilichukulia vizuri tu yani nili mwanzo ilikuwa inanisu inani sumbua kui kukaa nayo hata kuifanyia kazi ile mbolea lakini kwa sasa hivi nishaizoea tu kama kawaida. Ni watu wanafanya vitu virahisi bila kutegemea au kutizama mazingira yanayowazunguka. Kwa hiyo mtu anaona rahisi kutupa vitu, kuchoma, lakini sasa lazima pawe na watu ambao wanajishughulisha na utunzaji wa mazingira. Wataalamu wanasema kuna faida nyingi kuliko hasara kwenye matumizi ya mbolea ya kinyesi kwani isipochakatwa kwa utaratibu na ufaa inaweza kuleta athari za kiafya kwa binadamu. Mbolea hii kwanza ni salama na rafiki kwa mazingira lakini pia ina rutuba nzuri ikichakatwa vizuri inaweza kutumika uh, na ikawa mbadala mzuri uh, wa mbolea za viwandani kama ilivyo mbolea zingine za mimea na wanyama. Tafiti mbalimbali zinaonyesha kuwa kwa wastan mtu mzima hutoa kilo moja za kinyesi na lita 730 za mkojo kila mwaka. Fahamu kuwa si tu leo kinyesi kinatumika kama chanzo cha nishati au mbolea bali ni tangu nyakati za zamani. Alfred Lastek, BBC.
Zanzibar. Ndio ambayo tumetengeneza. Okay, so at Ecofarm we have the compost toilets which are also known as dry toilets and they work in a different way. Okay, so here we have the toilets where you can do your um your things. So here's the switch and this is how it looks from the inside. We also have a window here made of makuti. And this is how the toilets are. So they're separated. We have three different holes, okay? When the hole is full, it's closed for several months. The thing that came out after you open after several months is used as um, a fertilizer. This is some basil, our basil. Italians, we love basil. We put it everywhere. And here in the middle, is where you do your small things. The third one is out of use until the first one is full. They are the same. And of course, we have the sawdust which you have to put it in the first one. We have our little paper here which explains how to use because in the first days it can be complicated. Okay, so this is the washroom where you can take a shower. Of course, you can open here the window and the shower. The water comes out like this. And we have the faucet with the mirror and the water comes out. And this one is, like you see, an aluminum bowl recycled. And a wood place to put your clothes or your towel. Okay. So this is the tomato garden where we grow the tomatoes. So all this rows are tomatoes. We have some more basil over there. You can see some spinach around also, but we mostly grow tomatoes in here. There's also an ananas just past it. So in here is where we keep our chickens and ducks and we have different kinds, as I said. So that's one type of ducks we have, the white ones. And this is another type. And there's one duck, um, I can't find her. Do you see that one back there? That one? This one, this one, this one, this one. She's mixed. Some are laying eggs. And in here is our compost. So usually when we have like vegetables, vegetable and fruit peels, as I said, we put them in here. The chickens and the ducks come and they continuously like, um, they turn it over. So guys, this is our resta. You can chill in here, have a good time. You can eat here, drink. If you have friends coming over, you can invite them here. Um, Wi-Fi is available here in case you need to use the Wi-Fi. Of course, Wi-Fi reaches even in your rooms and um, there is portable water where you can refill. Here we have cups, we have tissues, we have some books in case you need to read. Of course, the sofas have mattresses. They're really comfortable with pillows. You can chill. And here we have some bags for sale. They're handmade from the women in the village. And we support the women, of course. And there are bags and different kind of pockets. So if you're interested in supporting women, um, the women workshop, the local women workshop, then you're welcome. So we have already seen the tree house. So guys, like I can't wait to see the, the first room. And... So first things first, like it's respectful to remove the shoes before you enter inside the house. Like this place is just amazing guys. So are we welcome to this amazing and special room? Yes! 
Yes, absolutely. Come, let's go. Let me show you. Okay, so here's the room. It's occupied, but the guest was very kind to let us film in the room. And so, yes, yeah, so in this room you have your bed, of course. We decorate them with different types of colors. And the net, of course. And you have your mirror over here, the big mirror. Mm -hmm. So another thing to consider at our eco farm is that we use solar power. Yeah, we have the switches there. You can charge anything from phones to laptops. So of course, there are so many things to know at eco farm. We have our small paper here that has different kind of rules, such as leaving your shoes outside. You can have local dinner with us on request as well as breakfast. And yeah, just small rules. <laughs> So here you can put your clothes and your things. It's a handmade kind of like wardrobe closet. And now I'm going to show you another house, which is the local bungalow. So come with me. You're welcome. Let's go check it out. Okay, so we're going to leave our shoes outside, just like how we did in the tree house. Karibu. So in our local bungalow, we have the bed over here and the net, the fan. And here we have the closet for your clothes and putting your things, your belongings. Yeah, so guys, you see like Echo Farm is just right near the beach. It's not, a, it's not even a walking distance. Just uh, right next to the beach. It's just an amazing place, lovely place. Like, what do you think? I think it's beautiful ah. and relaxing, uh -huh. chilling. Amazing, amazing. Nilipokuwa kwenye matembezi ya mji mkongwe. Niliona kundi za vijana wa kiume wadogo wakiwa wanazamia ndani ya maji ya bahari ya mji huo. Watu wengi kutoka nchi mbalimbali na hata wakaaji walikuwa wakiwazongea kutazama tukio hilo. Nilidhania ingelikuwa vizuri kama ningekikwenda kutazama. Nilipofika do sala le hichindo nilichokiona. Mimi ni wenyu Elvis Deri. Welcome Zanzibar. Karibu kuna matata. Yeah, so guys, uh, this is the president of Tanzania, Dr. Samia Suluhu Hassan. My name is Valentina and I live in Zanzibar. <laughs> What's up my good people, this is Elvis Deri and uh, we're still right in Tanzania, Zanzibar, in uh, Jambiani area. Currently we are at Mfumbui, at Eco Farm and this place is amazing man. 